So, hi everyone! This video is about the um, packet tracer activity in chapter 2. So, this packet tracer is entitled as the Skills Integration Challenge. So, so let's start. This activity is entitled as the packet tracer skills integration challenge. So, the objectives of this activity is to configure host names and IP addresses on two Cisco Net Internet Network Operating System or the IOS switches using the command line interface or the CLI. Use Cisco IOS commands to specify or limit access to the device configurations. Use IOS commands to save the running configuration. Configure two host devices with IP addresses. Verify connectivity between the two PC and devices. So, the scenario of this activity is as a, as a recently hired LAN technician, your network manager has asked you to demonstrate your ability to configure a small LAN. Your tasks include configuring initial settings on two switches using the Cisco IRS and configuring IP address parameters on host devices to provide end-to-end -end connectivity. You are to use two switches and two host PCs on a cabled and powered network. So, the requirements are use a console connection to access each switch name room 145 and room 146 switches. Use the 8UBRU password for all lines. Use the C9WRE secret password Encrypt all clear text passwords, include the word warning in the message of the day or the MOTD banner. So, configure addressing for all devices according to the addressing table, save your configurations, verify connectivity between all devices. So, let's check. Let's start for this. So, this is the addressing table which is defined the device, the interface, the IP address, and the subnet mask. So, let's start. So, we will connect it using the console connection. So, we'll go on connections and then choose the console cable and connect it to the computer to access the switch. So, from this, it is the RS232 to the switch which is room 145 is console. So, just click the PC, which is the manager, and then go to desktop and terminal, and then click OK. So, we are now here on CLI, so just click Enter. So, we'll start in configuring these networks. So... Just we are now here in user accept mode, so we type enable just to pass it and we will go on the privilege exec mode. So we're now here in privilege exec mode, so switch then we will go on global so configure terminal and then enter. So first is name room 145. So we are we click uh, we connect the console cable on the switch. 145. So we will um, put the host name as the host name space and then room dot 145. Then enter and then now so you can see the switch is now become the what we um, assign um hosting for it. So it is a room 145. And then next is use the 8UBRU password for all lines. So to put a password for all the lines, so we'll use line console zero and then password. What is defined here is the eight U B and then the capital R and then U. So just enter and then put login, then exit. So the other line is line VTY04 
and then put also the first word here which is same as on the first line we um, put password so it is 8 U B capital R U so enter then don't forget the login command so it can access it so exit and next is use the C9 W R E secret password so to put a secret password enable secret and then what the password is C9 W R E then enter and so it is said that encrypt a clear text password so to encrypt um password we will use the command service password encryption enter so next is include the word warning in the message of the day motd banner so to put the banner just use the command banner.motd space and then warning and enter so next configure addressing for all devices according to the addressing table so we'll go on the addressing table so this is the addressing table and then to um configure it so first is room 145 so we will use the VLAN one. So yes, to configure it is interface space VLAN one and then enter. So we will put the IP address. So IP address of the room one four five is here, which is the one seven two point sixteen point five point three point five. So 172.16.5.35 then space and then its subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 which is also defined here on the addressing page also and so, so don't forget to um put the command which is no shutdown then exit so next is save your configuration so to save the configuration um we will use the copy running config so before it um make sure that we will not on the um, global configuration mode so we will go back here at z privilege exec mode so just cap p running config space start up config so enter yes and then that's next is we will um we will configure next is the room 146 switch. So, so next is we will um, configure is the room 146. So, just connect the console here. Then, from the reception then room and so so we will repeat what we made on the first just we will change the IP address the host name and the subnet mask of it so switch so enable and then we will go on the configure terminal so next is we will assign the host name which is host name room 146 and then use the um, put the password for a line so line console 0 and then password is 8q 
B R U password A Q B R U so log in and then exit the next is for the line PPY sign a password which is also the A Q B R U then next is login exit and use the C9WRE secret password so the secret password is enable secret and then password is C9 W R and E and then Next is encrypt all clear text passwords. So to encrypt it is use service password encryption. So next is include the word warning in the message of the day or MOTD banner. So banner space MOTD and then the warning word. So enter. Next is configure addressing for all devices according to the addressing table. So, we'll go on the addressing table. Then, to configure it, so, interface, VLAN 1, and then copy G, IP address of room 146 and its subnet mask. So, We'll put the IP address and 172.16.5.40. Then the its subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Then always um, put the command shutdown and then exit so next is save your configurations so to save the configuration make sure that you are in the privilege exit mode so copy running config space start up config and then enter so now is so let's see if let's put the IP address of the computer. So the IP address of the manager is 172.16.5.50. And then its subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And then we will exit it. So next is the reception. Reception. So the reception is I. Its IP address is one seven two point sixteen point five point sixteen. And then subnet must two five five two five five dot two five five dot zero. So and let's next is. Verify connectivity between all devices. So now we will um verify the connectivity here. So just click the monitor and then the command prompt. So let's ping its IP address is ping 172.16.5.50 so if it has a 4 reply so it's connected so it's connected and try to ping also the room 145 ping 172.16.5.30 So, 
that's so it's connected the next is to configure if the reception is connected to the if if the reception has connected so ping 172.16.5.60 so reply it has a reply so try to ping the switch it is connected to the computer so ping 172.16.5.60 oops 5.40 so it's ha it has a reply so it is connected so that's all guys and thank you for watching it